What is going on, Gerald B. Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, where we last left off, uh, Donald Love went bankrupt and lost the election of Miles O'Donovan because it's been revealed his ties to Salvatore Leone, and Salvatore is now in jail. So, our next wish for Salvatore is actually on the complete other side of the map. Well, not the complete other side, but the far left side, the shore side veil. I believe that's what it was called. I can't remember. Yeah, the shore side veil. Alright. I should have probably gone there off camera because it is going to take me a bit of time to go there. But it doesn't matter. There's the bridge. Yeah, that's the correct bridge. And of all the vehicles I could have chosen, I got a freaking scooter. <clears throat> They're annoying. Alright, we're almost up to the main road that'll take me up to the bridge, so... Alright, now I'll go this way. Almost there. We, you remember that it was blocked off during the mission that you do for Leon McCaffrey, the first one, I think. Yeah, it was the first one, or the second one. I, I, my memory's hazy. Just go across here. Wait for it to come down first. Yeah, you know, I would hate to drive on bridges that do that. The shore side valve. That will never cease to irritate me. That welcome to this place or that place in the 3D games. That's why, unlike a lot of people, I actually preferred the uh, Definitive Edition Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3, because they didn't do that. Well, one of the reasons, at least. The other reason is because they, they were easier. A lot of people disagree with me, but I don't care. I like the, the Definitive Edition of Vice City and 3 more because they made things more convenient, and they didn't have that stupid welcome to this place or that place card up. But unfortunately for this game and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, uh, that card will come up every, every time you go to a different part of the map. Screw your kids. Alright. Anyways, that little stupidity out of the way. We're almost to Salvatore. <laughs> now you need a lawyer suit. I gotta go to the clothing store. I forgot about that. Luckily, there's one here at Shoreside Vale, and it's not too far away from Salvatore's mission. Blip. <sighs> Lars outfit is available, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You shouldn't have gotten in my way. All right. 
right, here we are. Rough justice. Ugh. There's Salvatore. He's your lawyer, Mr. Leone. I know who the hell he is, pal. Come on, give me a break here. Hi, <laughs> kid, run along. Say hello to your mother for me, Gabish. Alright, you got five minutes. Listen, uh, Lionel, you're looking good. Lionel. Look at me. A fine member of the community, and suddenly I'm banged up. It really challenges my philanthropic nature. Uh, of course, Mr. Leone, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here, and uh, back to helping your community as soon as possible. Of course. I hope we can sue someone for this outrage. <laughs> <laughs> those cunts of Sindacos or those cocksuckers of Pirellis? Who mm. was it? Who ratted me out? Let's hit them both hard. The way I see it, they both could use a good beating for this outrage. Yeah, they could. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. Tony. You really mean a lot to me. You know that? Listen, you might need some backup. Uh, use the hood, okay? All right. What do you think is best, Mr. Leone? All right. Get out of here, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel. I mean, he had to come up with a different name, you know, so that, you know, Tony's not revealed because he, he's part of the mafia. He's a made man. All right. Uh, I got to get a four-door car. This is one, but it's locked. There's a four. No, that's not a four-door. Sorry, you can have it back. Okay, four door car. Four door car. Gosh dang it. Uh. Oh, there's one. Get out. I'm a man too. Now get out of here. I mean, I was gonna say something regarding that cutscene. I forgot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So, where Salvatore said, you know, thank you, Tony. You really mean a lot to me. Yeah. Tony's the only person that Salvatore ever trusted, and that really isn't saying much. Because in the beginning, he was, you know, untrusting of him a little bit at the start. You know, Salvatore became very paranoid after, you know, the events of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where he put trust in CJ, but CJ ended up robbing, you know, the Caligula's Casino, which was, you know, the casino that Salvatore was running... He became ultra paranoid after that, so, and Tony's the only person that he trusts. Okay, Cub, let's smoke this pack. All right, get in the car. Lure out the Ferrellis by smashing up their cars. It's time for Hood to rise up and do the right thing. Yeah, yeah, you're you're only being an associate for for Leone right now. Well, we'll smoke them when we find them. Calm down. Wait, can I get to the car? Yeah, I can get to the car from here. Sack revenge on the Ferrellis. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. Alright, here's some more coming. Didn't mean to shoot you, I'm sorry. Sorry. I just got rid of one of my gang members. By accident. 
Sorry. I thought you were Forelli. Where's the other one at? Oh, he's hiding back back there. Okay. Alright. Lure out more for Ellie by smashing him in another car. Yeah, it was. Now get back in. We got some more Ferrellis to kill. That pop-up came up on my screen. Let me click off of it. Okay. You guys didn't see it because I didn't have my display capture up. But still. Hey, that's screw your car and screw you too. Mission passed. Another mission for Sal. Thanks for your help. Sorry I killed one of your friends. It was an accident. Alright. Man, thankfully the health cheat gets, gets rid of a flat tire for you. That's a really lucky thing. Alright. But anyways, let's go back up to the, the jail and do another mission for Salvatore. <sighs> can I drive there from here? Yeah, I can. Get out of my way and that won't happen. There goes my insurance premium. Screw you and screw your insurance. Or did or did Tony say that? Alright, we're almost at the jail. Dead Reckoning. Hey Sal, it's me, Tony. Tony, it's good to hear your voice, kid. These chumps will let me see nobody. Listen, I got plenty of business to take care of. Hey, Paulie Sadako. His family's finished this town, but he thinks he can just run away like he's got no dues to pay. Yep. I'm in jail because <clears throat> of that bastard. Make that son of a bitch pay. All right. So, Pauly Sandako, the Don of the Sandako family, he's the reason Tony is in... Um, Salvatore is in jail. So we're going to go kill Pauly Sandako. I always forget how to get down there, though. No matter how many times I play this, I always forget how to get down there. There's a road right there, though. Wait, 
Wrong road. This camera's acting up on me. Let me look at the map. Yeah, so I got a pretty long ways to go. Or do I? I can take another way. Like I said, I always forget how to get there from here. Literally, no matter how many times I play this, I will never remember exactly how to get there. Without crashing the car. I don't want to run down there because I, I want to have a vehicle to chase Polly in. Oh crap, I'm gonna freaking fall. Oh, well I got down there. So, I still won in the end. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Yes, I do. Right. We gotta get ahead of him so it'll be easier to sh easier to shoot his boat. I need some different weapons, though. cheat up some more. I struggled with this mission a few times because of this. I should have had those weapons cheated up earlier. You're so lucky you didn't fall in the water. There we go. Has left the building. <laughs> That's my favorite quote in the game, for some reason. I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, Pauly Sandako has left the building. You know, you don't see Pauly Sandako much in general in this game. He is the secondary antagonist of the game. But, you know, he you only see him a couple of times, really. In that mission and the, in the, you know, the mission where you uh, take control of his car from a van. Alright, anyways, we got another mission for Salvatore. We're going up to him. How did I just get through that tree like that? We'll go eat something. Don't make it my problem. I ain't your gosh dang chef. Shogun Showdown. Sal, how's it going? Oh, fucking Ben, man. Just great. Number one, the new mayor is fixing it so I don't get bailed. Number two, we're stuck fighting the goddamn triads and Diablos. Number three, I hear that the fucking Yakuza are going to make a play to take over the city. Yeah. Other than that, everything is just peachy. After all these years of mob control, we've finally flushed it all down the crapper. Boss, I can take care of everything. Yeah, you can rely on Tony. Got a load of weapons in that Patriot. Nothing can stop them now. We'll see about that. All right, let's go stop the Yakuza. 
Check out the Yakuza compound in Aspatria. Yeah, it's it's over in Fort Staunton. So it's a pretty long mission. Don't. Come on, don't. Thank you. There are very few things that are more irritating than driving a car and it, and it flipping over on its top and staying like that. There's very few things more annoying than that. You lose your car. Especially when you're driving a required car during the mission. That will never not be annoying. And neither will that crap. Why did, why did they add that in these games? Why did they add that? There was literally no purpose in that. Hurry up, I'm late for a swinging party. Screw you and screw your swinging party. I got some Yakuza to kill. Gosh, dang it. Seems like the artist for Yakuza only. Yep, we don't care. Yeah, find a way inside the compound. I'm just gonna have to shoot all those a-holes. I love that quote so much. I got a date with a cheese deluxe. Okay, destroy the tank. First of all, I got to get away from those Yakuza to shoot them. Okay, which a-hole is shooting at me? I got the tank, screw all of you. Alright, we gotta take this to the bomb place. Yeah. It's just over there. You can't stop me. The minute you touch me, you blow up. I only got out because I was typing in a cheat code. Screw you, Yakuza. Almost at the bomb place. We gotta get up there. From that ramp.
Yeah, I know I gotta use the detonator to activate the bomb. Now, I, I could just get out. Or, first I'll activate the bomb and then get out. Let me look at the breathe. Yeah, use the detonator to activate the bomb. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It was in my weapons. How did I forget about that? All right, that tank is destroyed. I gotta wait for another mission to pop up. Yep, I gotta wait for a phone call. Just in time. Yeah. Uh, Tony, it's Donald. Donald Love. No, no, wait, don't hang up. I've got a very exciting <clears throat> proposition for you. Please come by my current, um, residence, and I'll fill you in. Tony, please, Tony, have a heart. I I'm calling you from my last... <sighs> okay, I'll be over there. He was all panicky. Alright, anyways, we gotta go back to Shoreside Vale, because that's where Donald Love is currently at. Gotta wait for that to come back down. Okay, so after uh, we kill Polly Sandako, okay, I, I forgot to mention this. The Sandakos are completely done for, okay? They're, they're done for. So they no longer exist. That that will always annoy me. That will always annoy me. You know, I often always wonder, like, how much time it took for game developers to, to put all those sound effects, like those cars driving and stuff like that. I, re I really just admire video game designing in general, because the, it just it just seems like, well, I know it does, but it, it just seems like it takes more time than I would think. Atlantic land grab. Nice beard, DL. I know I said some nasty things about this being your fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And yeah, I know. Recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. Yeah, it was only you. No, we're not. Please. Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh shop. <laughs> yeah. 
Is it really? You seemed awfully suspicious there. I mean, I know Donald Love is a really bad human being, but still. Uh, Tony, transportation would be a boon. Yeah, I got a motorcycle. For the airport, Tony. We don't have a minute to lose. Okay, how, how does that protect you from falling, grabbing onto the back of the motorcycle like that? Yeah, Avery. He was referring to Avery Carrington. You remember him, Greth Dot of Vice City. He was there, but he didn't say anything. He was with Avery Carrington. And speaking Tony of Avery Carrington. Avery Carrington is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get Prime to the state. We have to get hold of his plans to acquire land. Yeah. Come on, Tony. Get after him. So we're going to kill Avery Carrington now. Now you'll notice that Avery doesn't say anything at all right there. It's because he doesn't have a voice actor in this game. His voice actor in Grand Theft Auto Vice City was Burt Reynolds, rest his soul. And he had a dispute with Rockstar. See, he was irritated by Dan and Sam Hauser during production. We gotta drive after him. And he even threatened... He even threatened, you know, I think it was Sam that he threatened, you know, to punch him because he was annoyed at having to repeat, repeat his lines. And that has to happen during a chase. Sorry, Avery, but Burt Reynolds shouldn't have been an a-hole to Rockstar. But yeah, Burt... Most of the time... See, most of the time when, when voice actors bail on Rockstar, it's because, you know, it wasn't their fault, really. They feel they, feel they got screwed over, but in Burt Reynolds' case, he, he was kind of a jerk to, to Dan and Sam Hauser. He, th he threatened to beat up, I think, Sam for asking him to repeat some of his lines. That's what I looked up. I mean, Burt Reynolds was a great actor, rest his soul. But... He was a, he was a complete jerk to Dan and Sam. I don't know why he was irritated at having to repeat his this lines. Yeah. We're gonna do another mission for Donald now. Stop the press. Tony, at last! A reporter witnessed us killing Avery. He has photos. Oh god, I'm finished! Calm down, will you? Where is this reporter? Oh, Tony, you're wonderful. Apparently, he's working on an undercover job at the church on Staten Island. Get the photos and bury him! Will do. Gladly this time, because you'll see who that reporter is. Coming up. He's all the way over in Fort Staunton, though. Let's 
Staunton Island. Welcome to Staunton Island. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I know. Ned Burner. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the goddamn photos? Don't hurt me. Where are they? Please, no. Come on, you little pussy, give them up. Okay, okay. I'll get you the photos. I stashed the film in my locker. Yeah, that's Ned Burner. You remember, uh, he was pretending to be that priest in that church during those missions. I'm really glad. We get to intimidate him for... I actually can't stand Ned Burner simply because of those missions. At Carmageddon, that, that mission was absolute dog crap. It was badly designed. Ned Burner's an a-hole. Yeah. You piece of shit. Now you just made this personal. Alright, let's kill him. This is the only thing that sucks about this chase, because it's a scooter chase and he goes in random directions. He's going through Belleville Park. Gosh! Mm. Yeah, he goes through random sections. It's hard to catch him. There we go. He's dead. That's for Carmageddon, you piece of crap. Alright, I'm gonna do one more mission and end the video. I'm not doing that. That's an optional mission. There's the bridge. I'm not going back down that way, though. I'm going to go around because it'll take me forever to get through that underpass. And the bridge is going up again, and it's raining. just going up. This is going to take a while. <sighs> By the way, while that's going there, uh, 
I guess I'll talk for a bit uh, about something random. I haven't made a cooking video in a while. I need to do one at some point in the future. I got some plans for some. But I haven't done one in a while. Alright, it's coming back down. Well, that's the bridge's fault, you stupid skank. I've already lost my crap. Alright, welcome to Shoreside Vale. So yeah, in my honest opinion, uh, aside from Vincenzo's death, I think that Ned Burner's is the second most satisfying death in the game. Simply because of the church missions that he manipulated you into doing were very annoying. Especially, like I talked about, Carmageddon. I, I hate that mission. It's badly designed. Okay, uh. But anyways, we're, al we're almost at... Donald Love's area. If that crap doesn't happen again. Morgue Party Resurrection. This mission, I think, is very difficult to... I'm back. Good for back you. <laughs> we did it, Tony. Whatever. <laughs> Tony's just like, whatever. For a little soiree with a very exclusive guest list. Come on. Tony doesn't really care all that much. We're gonna need some transportation, Tony. We don't have much time. I'm using that vehicle because it's faster. Tony, I've been dying for this party. Just like my guests. <laughs> yeah, morgue party. You gotta find a corpse first. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, find the one here first because it's faster. <laughs> and you gotta do this quick. There's a time limit. That's the annoying thing about it. Alrighty. Gosh, dang it. Okay, so the first corpse, which is in an ambulance, is down in this area. That's ours now. Get out. He's dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Avery. Yeah, it's Avery Carrington in there. Oh, Avery, how you've aged since we've last met. You used to feed me such pearls of wisdom. And soon I shall die again. Yeah. 
like I said, Donald loves a cannibal, so he's gonna eat Avery. My God, he's wearing a wig. <laughs> and he was wearing a wig this whole time. I think I think they just wanted to insult Avery Carrington because of how much of a jerk Burt Reynolds was to them. We gotta take this ambulance to the airport. Now, after this part, here comes the hard part. Be sure to get Ned Burner's corpse here before security discovers us. They'll be interring him any time now. Yeah, you gotta act quickly. You got you gotta drive there very quickly. Get Ned Burner's corpse, because Donald Love's gonna eat his corpse too. Let me see, check the brief. Okay, so Well, it won't tell me how long I have. Uh but regardless, we still need to act quickly. We got we got to get to Ned Burner as soon as possible. That's so much. I gotta get out of Belleville Park. Ned Burner. Prepare to have your corpse eaten, even though you can't feel because you're dead. Alright, take Ned's body to the airport. You gotta be quick. Time for this bull crap. All right, please don't let that dinging start before I pass it. Okay, good. Days 
Let me guess, welcome to Shoreside Vale! Screw you. Okay, I can get I can get there in time. Whew. Hurry, 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 hurry. I'm actually surprised I passed this mission in one try. Back in the past, I would have to repeat it at least three times. Get in the freaking Corona, the blip. Thank you. All right. All right, well, I'm going to end it here for now. So post some some little entries on this. If you like to thumbs up, hey, see you thumb it down. I'm going to search me in my backup channel in the description box. And sure click subscribe and come here with the JW Faction on a jury 10,000 subscribers. See you later.